Hello Heavy Metal Maidens and Masters, I'm Heavy Metal Mama and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am finally doing my review of the Killstar Coven Cosmetics Liquid Lipsticks, all six shades. But before we get to that, remember to uh, like this video, comment down below to discuss any of the things that come up in the video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload and welcome. So Killstar Cosmetics, Killstar brought out Coven Cosmetics in September I want to say. I pretty much immediately went and bought all six shades. I just bought them all in one go because a lot of my liquid lipsticks are starting to get very, very short. Um, I have a couple of Jeffree Star ones, which I won't be replacing with him because he is quite a problematic brand. Uh, and I have lots and lots of Pretty Zombie Cosmetics ones. I love all my Pretty Zombie Cosmetics ones, but they're just not available in the UK. I thought I'd found somewhere that stocked them in Europe. There's a shop called My Spooky Vanity, which uh, sells in Europe. They do stock Pretty Zombie Cosmetics, but they don't have any of the shades that I'm running out of. Everything that I love, they don't have. I think a lot of what they have is an older range, um, so which is a bit of a shame. So I was on the lookout for replacements for most of my Pretty Zombie Cosmetics shades. Now, Pretty Zombie Cosmetics are about $16.99 a tube. I think Jeffree Star's about £20 a tube. These Coven Cosmetics are £9.99 each, which is incredibly affordable. That is on a par with like the drugstore brands like Rimmel, Maybelline, that kind of thing. In fact, I think they might be more expensive. So I was very intrigued to see what they were like. Now, they come, there are six shades. The first shade is Dusk, which is a dusky, cool-toned, pinky, lavender kind of colour. It's this colour that I'm wearing. Now, I will, of course, show you more close-ups, etc. in a bit. Uh, the next shade is Lenore, which is a rosy pink with, like, coral tones. It's a very strange colour, but it's also really, really beautiful. Uh, then we have Haven, which is like a butterscotch terracotta shade. It's really unusual. Um, it has red elements in it. It's, it's a great shade if you like red, but you find that red is too harsh for your skin because it's got those sort of terracotta tones to it. Again, really easy to wear, beautiful shade. Looks very different on different people as well. Vampire, well, sorry, Vampire is the classic bright vampy red. It's a real bright vampy red lovely lovely color matches my hair when it doesn't look like this so <laughs> i'm dying it at the weekend i promise i'm not <laughs> uh, there is eternal which is a super dark really cool toned purple it's a really strange shade actually it's almost black but it's purple it's yeah it's probably been the most difficult one to wear i would say out of all of them just because most of my um, purple eyeshadows etc are warm toned so they don't work together but we'll get onto that in a minute and void which is black I mean obviously they were going to bring out a black right so let's get on to the first thing the packaging so all of the lipsticks came in these black unit cartons it says Coven Cosmetics on there it's you know it's fairly simple it's matte black and then you've got this shiny black bit at the bottom here. And then on the end of the tube is the shade name. They're all like that. They've literally just stuck a different sticker on. So it's not like any of the tubes are different depending on the shade name. They've just stuck a different sticker with the shade colour and the barcode for them on the tubes. So here we are, all six tubes here. I kept them. I've had these for bloody ages sat in a, <laughs> in a box in my sitting room, annoying the hell out of me. So I can finally bin these. Yay! <laughs> These are the tubes. So, this is the first one. This is Dusk. So, I really, really like the unit. I like the fact that it's this lovely square tube because it fits nicely into your vanity. Round tubes are a pain in the butt because they don't sit properly. It's really cool, like matte black sort of coating on this tube. Then Coven Cosmetics is written here in like a, a shiny sort of a laminated because it's slightly raised as well you can feel it with my finger there I really like the fact that then you get this just this little bit at the bottom of the tube that you can see through so that you can see the shade then obviously it's got its shade sticker on the end and that's it it's a fairly simple packaging I suspect that it was generic packaging and that you can just have the lids knocked up sort of thing oh it does have this really cool little Coven Cosmetics symbol I don't know if you can see that in the light I'll see if I can put a copy of it 
up on screen if I can't find it. Now, they're really, really cool. They get really greasy. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter how much I clean these up, unless I literally just put a wipe on it and clean it all off with a makeup wipe, they immediately look dirty. They immediately get fingerprints on them. So it's, they're really cool, but they don't look that swish in your makeup stand just because, well, in this one particularly bad, they look, all look kind of greasy and, and marked. And it's just, I mean, to be honest, most of these have been rattling around in the bottom of my handbag because I've been wearing them pretty much non-stop since I bought them. In fact, every video that you have watched since I bought these, I have been wearing one of these shades. I've very deliberately made sure that I always wore these lipsticks to really, really give them a proper trial. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about is the, the applicator. So you unscrew, they unscrew very nicely, pull it out and ta-da. It's quite fine. I was expecting it to be fatter. The Jeffree Star ones are much fatter. They're shaped like a big fat, fat heart. This is skinnier. I actually get on with this much better than the fat ones. I think it's got a much sharper point on it, which means that you can really get into the detail and not too fat a bum on it sort of thing because I have skinny lips. I, it's, it's, you know, I'm never gonna be cursed with those beautiful big lips that everybody has. I'd love to have big, fat, beautiful lips, but instead I have these skinny things. And I find it means that I can overline a tiny bit because if you overline too much, it just looks silly, but especially because I'm not good enough to make it look good. I think there are some people that do it and they just look fantastic and you wouldn't even know. I can always tell if I overline mine. So it means I can just push it over the line of my lips and them still look full, but it not look stupid and you still get quite a crisp line. So I really like the applicator, but I'm sure there are people out there that will absolutely hate the applicator. I think it depends what you look for in a liquid lipstick applicator. And it's gonna be a lot of it, it's gonna to be to do with how your mouth is shaped, even how you, your dexterity with your hand and that kind of thing. Cause I always find one side this side I can always get quite well and this side always looks rubbish because I struggle with the turning on the left hand side. Same with my eyeliner. One, this eye always looks great, that eye always looks rubbish. It's just, you know, because <laughs> I'm not that good at makeup. <laughs> the formula. I would say that the, the more normal colours, so that is Dusk, which is the dusty cool tone pink, Lenore, which is the rosy pink with the coral undertones, and Haven, which is the butterscotch slash terracotta shade. That is these three shades, what I would call the more normal shades. I could see my, I could give one of these to my mum or my sister and they wouldn't be horrified by them. You know, they would probably be like, oh, they're a bit bright, you know. <laughs> but they would probably wear them. I definitely find that the normal toned ones, I can put one coat on, easy peasy peasy, done. I'm not sure though whether that is because they are more normal colours and they're not so bright, it's not such a contrast against your skin, whether that is just that it's a bit more forgiving with mistakes, etc. Whereas I do feel like the darker three, so that's the the vampire, the eternal, sorry, vampire, the eternal and the void, which is the dark red, the purple and the black. Sometimes I think they need a second coat. However, I had that with Jeffree Star. My, all, both my Jeffree Star black and bright red, which are very similar to these, I always had to put two coats on. I actually thought my Jeffree Star was thinner than this and more watery. So I am actually really happy with them. I know a few people have commented in the Killstar Addicts Anonymous group, link down in the description, by the way, if you want to join that. They said theirs are all dried out, which I'm wondering whether there was a batch that wasn't properly stored or that, I don't know, the... the seal was blown or something because none of mine have been dried out at all um i definitely thought my pretty zombie cosmetics formula is thicker which is great in that it's one coat and you're on but sometimes it's really thick and you move it into like your cupid's bow and stuff and then you're like oh there's loads of excess lipstick left and then you can get this weird like it's, it's, it's like an extra line around the edge of your mouth it looks weird so that is my thoughts on the, the thickness. All of them I have found really, really easy to apply. Really easy to apply. Um, 
I just, I really like them. They dry down well. They, I would say my Pretty Zombie Cosmetics lipsticks don't dry down as well as this. Um, I think the dry, I think they are very comparable to Jeffree Star. Very comparable. Bearing in mind, I haven't owned many liquid lipsticks. I would say the formula is closest to Jeffree Star, but I actually think slightly better than Jeffree Star in that I found all my Jeffree Star ones to be quite watery. And I think that these are slightly thicker. Um, and therefore easier to, to get on, etc. They dry down well, uh, and they do last. Now, they're not 24-hour lipsticks. This isn't a stain, it's a liquid lipstick. So, again, I found the Pretty Zombie Cosmetics, because they never quite dried down, that you would definitely get transfer. In fact, I used to put a primer all around my mouth to make sure that you didn't get that creeping up your skin, because I have quite greasy skin. I never get that with these, never get the creep, which I love. The only thing is you do have to reapply. If you've eaten, if you've drunk something like a milk-based drink, like a latte or something like that, it definitely does seem to dissolve in the fat, I would say, of that. So it is, you know, I don't eat my, my lunch and then I'm like, oh my God, I've got no lipstick on, but there is definitely a section in the middle of my lips where there isn't lipstick anymore, but, I'm okay with that. I, for 9 99 I am happy to reapply my lipstick after I've eaten because to be honest, I'm such a messy eater anyway. I've probably gone like that and smeared it up my face or something because these things are kiss proof in that I can give my husband a peck or give my children a peck on the cheek and they don't get covered in lipstick, which I must admit the Pretty Zombie Cosmetics one, all I've got to do is kiss the kids on the cheek and they are, they've got a big black mark or whatever they're not snog proof at all oh my god they're not snog proof at all they are not mask proof at all either so i wore the red one to work on a on a weekend because i've been wearing it in the morning i just went to work and we have to wear the horrible blue surgical masks and um at the end of the evening i took it off and one of my colleagues just wet herself laughing because that where the mask touches, it touches your face. There's nothing you can do about it. I had like an X of red <laughs> on my face. So at least I've been wearing the mask all day. So I had no idea that I had that. They're definitely not mask proof. The paler colored ones. So that is the dusk, the, the, the cool toned, smoky, lavendery pink color, the Lenore, the rosy pink with the coral tones and the Haven, the butterscotch terracotta are definitely more mask proof than the darker ones. But again, I think that's the thickness of their formula is that they do tend to dry and stick. Whereas I've noticed the red, the purple and the black, if I put a mask on, do you know what though? They don't budge as much as I was expecting, but they do budge. So I always keep makeup wipes in my handbag. I always keep makeup wipes in my handbag. It's just, otherwise you end up in some sort of makeup related accident. And so I just clean it up, put a bit of powder on, stick another coat of lipstick on, done. I've never had a full blown like smear or anything like that. I'm very, very pleased with them. Like I said, they don't creep at all. Definitely don't creep. And they come off really easily. Well, with a makeup wipe, they need a little bit of rubbing. Um, I've bought micellar water recently. They come off brilliantly with that. And a cleansing balm, oh my God, it goes, it comes off like a treat. But I mean, cleansing balm just dissolves everything. So I suspect if you smeared it on your car, it would eventually dissolve that too. So, you know, depending on how harsh your makeup remover is, etc. yeah, they're fine. They obviously dissolve in fat because the cleansing balm is definitely fat-based. Micellar water is some sort of fat, I think they're like fat droplets suspended in liquid because that's what micelles are. are. So uh, yeah, it definitely seems to dissolve in fat. Hence why I wouldn't suggest that you go out and eat like a really greasy triple burger and honest, you know, uh, and honestly expect it to stay. If you're eating something greasy like that, it's going to smear everywhere. But, you know, I tend to, if I'm going to eat something really greasy like that, which is very few and far between, I just don't like things like that, um, then I would take my lipstick off before I ate because otherwise you're just going to end up with it all over your face and it's easier to clean it off of just your lips than all around your face. So I'm going to show you each colour, little, you know, close up of each colour, see what you think. I am really happy with all of them, really, really pleased. I, people have been bitching about them and I don't really understand why. <laughs> so, 
you know, obviously I'm a big Killstar fan, but I'm not blind, they're not a perfect company. And to be honest, I was kind of expecting them to be cack, you know, at 9.99, and the fact that, you know, they're very goth, I was thinking, oh, they're just, it's its just a marketing ploy, they're gonna be sh <laughs> They're not, they're really good. <laughs> I'm really impressed with them. I think for the money, they're great. I mean, if you're comparing them to, I don't know, um, Lime Crime or is it Anastasia Beverly Hills, those kind of, you know, the 20 to 30 pound price mark liquid lipsticks, they'll probably outperform these but you're paying three times as much. I would expect three times as much features and three times as much longevity, etc. if I'm paying three times the price. So I'm really, really pleased with them. <laughs> this is Dusk. And this is the dusky cool toned pink with lavender tones. It's, it's a beautiful shade. I'd say the closest shade that I've had to it is Cameo by Pretty Zombie Cosmetics. It's definitely such a wearable shade. If you are looking for a more neutral, cool toned lipstick, something you could wear to work, something that just makes you look finished rather than I've got no lipstick on, but doesn't scream of any particular shade, this is definitely the shade for you. I love this shade. This one has definitely had the most wear out of all of the six shades that I've purchased. So this shade is Lenore. This is our rosy pink with coral tones. On camera, this looks much more orange than it does in real life. In real life, it's got like a very dusty pink quality to it, but then with that unusual coralness with it. On camera, it looks like a straight out coral, and it's definitely not. It's a very unusual shade. It's such a shame it's not translating very well on camera. It's one that I tried to buy a um, makeup palette with some pinky shades in because none of my shades matched it and I still haven't found one that perfectly matches it. I can mix a couple of shades together from some palettes that I have subsequently bought and I can get a shade that is comparable but there is definitely no one shade in any of my eyeshadow palettes that is the same. It's a lovely colour, it's just really unusual and therefore quite difficult to pair with eyeshadows if you're trying to go for the same shade. In fact, at the moment, this shade almost perfectly matches my washed out hair, which is like a pinky orange shade. <laughs> so <laughs> at least it matches my hair. This third shade is Haven, which is a butterscotch terracotta shade. Again, it's not showing on camera how orange it is. It's definitely more of a terracotta shade. It's really nice, really easy to wear. I was expecting it to be bright, bright orange from the picture, so I was pleasantly surprised at how much of a terracotta it is. I think, again, this is a really wearable colour, especially for people who don't want to wear a bright, bright red, but want to wear a reddish toned lipstick. It's a brick sort of colour. It's beautiful, really, really nice. Again, really easy to wear. This is Vampire. It is a bright, bright red lipstick, really scarlet red. It's not coming across as deep on camera as it does in real life. On camera, it's almost got an oranginess to it. In real life, it is a deep blood red. It is not as dark as Dahlia by Pretty Zombie Cosmetics. That is a true, deep, sanguine, dark, black as your soul, but red lipstick. This is much more of a 50s vampy kind of lipstick. It's a beautiful shade, looks amazing with my hair when it's properly dyed. So I love this shade of lipstick. This is out my favourite of the more bright colours. Love this. Okay, this next shade is Eternal. This is a weird shade. It's a super dark, I'm not sure if it's cool toned or warm toned purple at all because it doesn't go with pinky purple colours particularly because it's almost so deeply pigmented. It reminds me of like black cherries. It's got that almost purple blackness. It is a beautiful shade, but don't go in there expecting a bright, bright purple. This is, looks black until you get really close and then you realise it's more of a cherry kind of colour. Not cherry red though, like a black cherry kind of colour. It's beautiful. 
it's definitely a little more difficult to apply. I think though it's partly just because the shade is so much less forgiving because really, really dark lipsticks, you've only got to make a tiny little mistake and it's so obvious. I definitely think that you, this one you can move it about more. So if you thin it out, you'll get a paler color. So you'll get more of the purple. Whereas if you put it on quite thick, but I have noticed it can be a bit patchy if you just do a single quite thin coat. Hence what I was saying about them being a little more watery, the Vampire, the Eternal and the Void. I like it though. So finally we have their black shade Void. I really like this black. I think it is possibly my favorite black lipstick actually, because Pretty Zombie Cosmetics creeps the Jeffree Star is definitely runnier. I saw a review on YouTube from, I think it's Joa Shino. I'm not sure, quite sure if I'm pronouncing her name right. She said that her black was really grey. And when I saw her putting it on, it did look really grey. Mine is not. As you can see from the footage, this is black, black, black. It does sometimes need an extra sort of little coat. Hence what I was saying about them being slightly waterier than the lighter shades. But I'm really happy with this shade. I think it's really, really lovely. I love the way it goes on. I think it glides on beautifully. It doesn't creep. I really like this. And I think for 9 dollars it's an absolute steal. I mean, all these shades are super comfortable to wear. They don't flake for me at all. And they don't dry your lips out. And they last a fair chunk of the day. I'm very pleased. So that was all six shades, up close and personal. I, I, I just think they're all lovely. It's a shame some of them aren't coming across as well on the camera as they do in real life. I mean, unfortunately, that is the problem with buying things online, is you're kind of taking a little bit of a gamble. I'm just thrilled with all of them. Really, really love all of them. They're all very different. I think the one that I find the most difficult to wear is Eternal, the purple. I also find Lenore, the sort of pinky, rosy, corally toned one, difficult to pair with makeup. I tend to end up just doing it with like a smoky eye or something like that because it's such an unusual pink shade. And I must admit the Haven, I tend to end up doing a, a like a very similar terracotta coloured um, transition shade and then a very, very dark smoky eye with that. I think that makes it pop the punch the most. Eternal's the one that I've definitely found the hardest to put together with a makeup look, but I think really it probably just needs to be more paired back because the lipstick's so dark to maybe go for something that just has a little hint of purple and is mostly maybe white and a bit of smoky grey and a little bit of black rather than going for a full-blown purple and then wondering why they clash. But purple is a notoriously difficult colour. When I got married, my wedding dress had purple on it. Oh my God, trying to find a pair of shoes to go with it to try and find dresses for the bridesmaids because I didn't want to buy the dresses by the same designer because they cost a fortune. We ended up getting them all black dresses. You know, it was inevitable. <laughs> so, but it meant I could appease my mother by saying, none of the shades match. <laughs> so, but I was gutted. I didn't find any purple shoes for my wedding. I was really hoping to get some like purple Louboutins. It was going to be the one time when I could push the boat out. Everything that was purple that year was the wrong shade of purple <laughs> so it clashed horribly but hey that's life isn't it so in the end i had silver shoes i still have them now so there we go i am really pleased with all of these lipsticks i mean i've seen some reviews everybody seems to i think it depends whether you go in wanting to like them or not i think a lot of people seem to want to hate them because they don't really like killstar which why buy from killstar then seems a bit weird but there you go um i'm thrilled with them really really like them i think that they look pretty the 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 unit is attractive i i like the fact that it's it's quite gothy but it's not trying to be too much they've not gone super ott on the packaging i think all the shades are nice and very different from each other i think they'll suit lots of different ethnicities and skin tones and makeup looks i would say if you're wanting the most wearable shade for you know every day is dusk definitely super super wearable if you want a bright red then definitely the vampire is a fantastic shade and the void is a gorgeous really easy to put on i just love it black they are my three favorites out of them 
I think Lenore, Haven and Eternal I really like. I'm really pleased with them. I definitely wouldn't send them back. I wouldn't tell other people not to buy them. They were just, for me, they're a little more difficult to accessorise with makeup. But I like that. It's pushing me to try new things. It made me go out and buy a couple of new Makeup Revolution palettes. I mean, I know the eyeshadow is rubbish, but it's interesting having more colours and playing with colour because I think that's the thing that I'm most frightened of when it comes to makeup is playing with different colours. I'm certainly not going to be going out and doing a James Charles rainbow look anytime soon. Not really my bag. But did you enjoy this? Have you bought any of the Killstyle Coven Cosmetics lipsticks? What do you think? I've heard about this thing about one of the batches being all dried out and where Jo said that her black was kind of grey. So I don't know, I mean, it might be that she maybe puts foundation on her lips and so it's mixing a bit with the foundation. I don't foundation my lips, so maybe that's what's going on. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below if you have any experience with them, if you've liked them, if you've not liked them. Let me know all your thoughts. I love to hear from you. Or if you just want to say hello and have a chat, you know, I like talking with you guys. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload. And remember, people stay heavy.